delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Tagalogians where they are today. Capital of the Philippines, advancing in the challenge of distance learning, bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is Deb and TV. Tarana. Hi kids, this is Teacher Michelle. How are you? I bet you really are excited in the start of the school year. So, I will be your learning buddy through your English journey in grade 4. Are you ready to have fun in learning? You are just in the right show because here is Teacher Michelle to make you learn English in a fun and easy way. And kids, I want to remind you to answer your modules honestly, okay? Because after all, it's you who is learning okay so let's start now if you have your modules already flip it to page one okay are you on page one now good it's because you will be answering some questions to test out whether you have learned something in your previous lessons okay and this is also to test you as to what you know about the parts of a simple paragraph. Let's have number one. Check this question out. You will only be given 20 seconds to answer every item. Okay? Again, you will only be given 20 seconds to answer each item. Okay? And also, just write your answer in your notebook, okay? Do not write anything on your module. Let's start. Check this question out. What do you think is the answer? Hmm, let's see. Hooray! That's letter B. Good job, kids. Now, Let's have the second question. Okay, your 20 seconds starts now. Hmm, what do you think is the correct answer? You got it! Wow, that is amazing! Yes, it is letter A! Hooray! You're doing a great job! But our drill is not yet over. For items 3 to 5, please go to page number 2. And let's read the paragraph. Can you read it with me? Good. Okay, let's start reading the paragraph now. For items 3 to 5, I will be reading to you the short paragraph on page number two. 
for you on page number two now. Let's read it. Television or TV is one of the easiest means to access information at home. At present, most Filipino homes can now provide TV for their family. Regardless of the kind of TV we have, one of the benefits we get from watching TV programs is information. Children can explore the places that they wanted to go to. They can also get an idea of protecting the environment too. Parents become aware of the news happening in different parts of the world. All of us learn just by sitting in front of the TV while having fun. Television or TV is the easiest means to access information at home. While TV has been generous of information, still, it is in our minds to decide for our advantage. Now, answer numbers 3 to 5 on page 2. Great! Now we are done with the paragraph reading. So, let's answer the three questions. Okay? The three remaining questions, items 3 to 5. What is the topic sentence of the given paragraph? Is it A, sentence 1, B, sentence 7, or C? Sentence 8. Now, for question number 4. What are the supporting details in this paragraph? Again, what are the supporting details in this paragraph? Is it A. Sentence 1 B. Sentences 2 to 6 And C. Sentence 8 Hmm. What do you think is the answer? Your 20 seconds starts now. Okay, I think you're finished answering, but uh-uh, we're not going to check that yet. We will check that after this last question. And for the last question, so what is the conclusion used in this paragraph in numbers 3 and 4? What is the conclusion? Is it A, paragraph 1 or sentence 1? B, sentence 2 to 6? And letter C, sentence 8? Mm -hmm. What's the correct answer, kids? Good. Okay, so I will be giving you 20 seconds again. 20 seconds starts now. For number three, the correct answer is letter B. Good job! For number four, the correct answer is still B still. Hooray! You're doing a really good job. For number five, what's the answer? It is letter B. See, wow, you are amazing. Great job. Did you get the correct answers? Wow, fantastic. So here, let us move on to our next part. Okay, are you ready? Why are books important? Hmm, let's go to page number six to find out. Are you on page number six now? Do you see it's fun to read? Good. Now, let us read this paragraph. Books are the oldest source of information that never gets old. Even before, when the oldest radio has not yet been invented, books were able to provide information to the people around the world. Books had been an essential part of human lives since the old times. 
They have been used for telling stories, preserving history, and sharing information about our world. The first ever recognized books were the ancient scrolls. These are rolled up manuscripts made from vaporous plants and ranges from 14 to 52 feet wide when unraveled. The second type of book was the book to go of the Romans. More similar to the style of books today, the Romans created some of the first codices, the plural of codex, from as early as the 1st century CE. The codex was more durable and compact than a scroll as it was made with parchment paper and bound with wooden covers. Information is important and books had been a necessity for everyone. The need for books resulted to the discovery of printed books. The first recorded printed book in history is the Diamond Sutra of Mahayana Buddhism. Books in schools are all products of printing. These modern days, books are now in electronic form. Electronic book, or e-book for short, is the most convenient type of books as long as you have gadgets to read on. Books may change over time, but it will never get tired nor old in giving us vast information around the world. Now, let's move on to page number 7 and let us answer the part I am a dweller or I am a welder. It means well reader. Let's answer question number one. What is the source of information mentioned in the paragraph? Again, what is the source of information mentioned in the paragraph? Write your answer in your notebook. Number two, what are the types of books? Number three, how does each type of book differ from each other? And number four, why do we need books? Number five, how do you manage? Or how do you imagine our world without books? Can you explain your answer? Now kids, you need to write your answers down in your notebook. Now kids, can you tell me what a paragraph is? Please go to your modules on page number 7. Mm -hmm. Flip it. Go, go, go. Flip it out. So, when you say paragraph, it is a group of sentences that expresses or uh, centers one complete idea. And we have its various parts. The first part is what we call the topic sentence. It is usually found at the beginning but not all the time the topic sentence tells about what the entire paragraph is okay so that's for the topic sentence now we have the second part we have supporting details kids we have to take note that there should be at least three supporting details it's because this will prove or enhance our paragraph even more, okay? The supporting details are the parts of the paragraph or are the sentences in the paragraph that tells 
about the main topic or the topic sentence. Okay? Did you get it? Good job! Now, if you can see, there should be three. Can you tell me again? Why? Yes, you got it! So, it is because uh, three should give proof or should expound and enhance your paragraph even more. Good job! And we are down to the last part of our paragraph, which is the conclusion. Okay? What is a conclusion? Okay? Conclusion comes from the word conclude, meaning to summarize or to tell as a whole. Okay? So the conclusion is the end part of the paragraph that tells what the entire paragraph is all about. Okay? It summarizes everything in the paragraph. Now there you have it. Those are the three parts. The topic sentence, the supporting details, and the conclusion. Did you get it? Great kids! So let us move on to some more exercises. Now that you have learned the different parts of a paragraph, we will have a short activity on page 10. Can you please go to page 10, kids? Let's read this paragraph here and write the information that is being asked in each item. Are you ready? Yay! Good! Let's start! My favorite subjects are English, Mathematics, and Science. English is one of my favorite subjects because I love reading stories and writing stories about fairy tales. Next is mathematics because when I was still young, my mother taught me about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and even dividing. My interest in science began when we had a field trip in a zoo where I've had a lot of why questions about the animals. I always stopped the class in these subjects and I really work hard to love the other subjects as well. That's done! We are done with the paragraph. Now let's answer the questions, okay? Please go to the lower portion or in the middle of page 10. What is the topic sentence of the paragraph above? Remember, when you say topic sentence, this is the sentence that tells what the whole paragraph is about or will be about. What is the topic sentence of the paragraph above? Alright, write your answers in your notebook. Number two, list down the sentences that support your answer in number one. Remember, supporting details, there should be at least three. Okay? Because these sentences tell more about the topic sentence. Mm -hmm. And number three, what is the conclusion or concluding sentence in the paragraph? The concluding sentence remember, is the part that tells what the entire paragraph is all about. It's the summary of the entire paragraph. Great! Now we are done! Are you excited to know the results? You can look for the answers on page 23, okay? And you can check it right away. Wow, you are doing really great! Did you get the correct answers? Congratulations! You are really ready for our next activity, okay? So, let's continue, okay? That means we really have to study a lot and I know that you are learning. Let's go to finding the lead. So, can you flip your modules on page 11? 
Yep, you're right, page 11. Good. Okay, so here we will be reading the paragraph, okay? It's entitled, What's the Lead? Mm. So, you will identify what part of the paragraph is missing. And that part is definitely the lead. When you say the lead, this is the topic sentence. Okay? Good thinking. Let's start. Blank. Berto, unlike his friends, listened attentively from the resource people. He never lets his friends disturb him from listening actively. When the speaker is done, he asks a question. To everybody's surprise, only Berto was able to answer it. Truly, you can never run out of ideas when you are an active listener. Now here's the question. Choose the best topic sentence that will complete the paragraph. Letter A. Active listening can be done while talking with others. Letter B. Active listening helps an individual understand well the message of the speaker. And letter C. Effective listening makes an individual fall asleep. What is your answer? Can you write that down in your notebook? Great! And don't forget to write the part, okay? So what's the lead? What was your answer? If you chose letter B, then you definitely are ready to answer the next items. Are you ready? Okay, so you can answer that. But for now, we will be moving on to the next part. Okay? So you can answer that later on. Let's go here. Okay? Can you please go to page number 14? We have their thought working. I think you're still motivated, aren't you? So this activity on page 14 will help widen your understanding in recognizing supporting sentences when the topic sentence is given. Okay? So here, we have the topic sentence on page 14. The internet is the best gift that all students would want to have. Now, I want you to choose the sentence that is not relevant to the given topic sentence. When you say not relevant, it is not related. Okay? Which one is not relevant to the given topic sentence? Letter A. Internet provides students with thousands of information needed for their projects, research, and learning. Letter B. By just clicking, information will appear on the screen of the computer, and students would simply scroll and select the appropriate data. Letter C. Internet tolerates the students to play online games instead of gathering information that would help them learn something new. Now, which one is irrelevant or not related to our topic sentence? If you chose letter C, you are very good because options A and B prove or tells more about how the internet could help the student gather information conveniently, thus making tasks easy. However, option C shows the negative impact of the internet to students, which of course is not related to our topic. Okay, great job kids! Now, can you answer the next parts on do you want more? 
from page 14 to 15? You can answer those later on. And we will get to check your answers, whether they're correct or not. Okay? And for now, we will go to the last part. Okay? We have here the bottom line in letter C on page 16. Can you flip your modules on page 16? All right, good. So what you will be doing here, here is you will read the paragraph with me, of course, and then you will give the best concluding sentence. Now, kids, I am reminding you when you say concluding sentence, this is the sentence usually found at the bottom that tells what the entire paragraph is all about. It summarizes the whole paragraph in just one sentence. Okay? Good. Now let's have our example. Okay? Nutritious foods are what our body needs. Eating vegetables instead of fatty foods helps our body function better. Fruits supply the body with different vitamins and minerals that help fight diseases. Meat, beans, and fish provide our body with protein, which is needed for muscle building. Salty and junk foods harm our body. Now here, what is the best concluding sentence of the paragraph? Is it letter A, if you want to live longer, eat only nutritious foods? Or B, junk foods have benefits to our bodies? And letter C, in short, foods are delicious. Can you tell me the answer? Can you write it down in your notebook and put it under letter C, the bottom line? Great! So, the answer is option A. Hooray! Did you get it right? Thumbs up to you, guys! So here, now the next activity is just going to be very easy for you. Okay? So, you can continue answering pages 16 and 17 later on. Now, we are going to sum up what we have learned for today. Okay? All right. So here, what is a paragraph? Can you please go to page 18 and try to fill that out? What is a paragraph? Okay. Yes. This is a group of words that expresses a group of sentences, should I say, that expresses a complete idea or one whole idea. Now, can you please give the three parts of a paragraph? I will be giving you some clues, okay? For the first one, we have the T-S. Hmm. T-S is the part of the paragraph that tells what it will be about. Okay, we have the second part. We have what we call S and D. Mm -hmm. S and D is the part of the paragraph or are the parts of the paragraph that tells more about the T-S. Okay, it tells more about the topic sentence. And the last part is the letter C. Mm -hmm. It starts with the letter C. This is the part that summarizes the entire paragraph. Okay, now can you please continue filling in this chart? You can go back to the discussion if you need to. All right. You're doing really amazing. Yay! You're doing amazing! Wow! 
you're such a fantastic learner. I am happy that I could be with you in our lesson. And I hope you learned something from me. Please continue answering all those all the parts of the module and I hope that I helped you out in making your learning journey in English fun and easy. Again, this is Teacher Michelle and I'm going to say goodbye to you. Thank you very much for having my class for today and thank you for watching. Again, you're just in the right show. Have fun and learning English for with me, Teacher Michelle. I'm going to see you next time. Have a great day! Thank you.